everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are doing the November challenge again. Yes, so we are going to be making a blanket this month. Uh, crochet every day in November. I have lots and lots of leftovers that I want to use up. And I've come up with an easy pattern, I think, an efficient way of making a blanket and using up all those odds and ends. So I will be using the hook that I usually use for the DK that I have here. There will be scissors and of course a darning needle needed. The blanket is made up of nine rectangles and I used up my smaller amounts of leftovers first because of course in the beginning your rounds are shorter. And then I worked my way towards my larger leftovers, my larger balls for the larger longer rounds. I did make sure that none of the rounds were in two colors so I always made sure I had enough to do the round. Okay so here we have any color. I am using a three and a half. This is the hook that I usually use for DK so use the hook that you usually use. Then we are going to make a slip knot, insert your hook and you're going to chain 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I now have 36 chains and we are going to get started by placing our first cluster in the sixth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five. This is number six. Yarn over. You go into that chain and you are going to do three double crochets in there. So a cluster, of course, for granny squares is made up of three double crochets. And a double crochet is yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have now made a loop and the first cluster. So now we are going to skip two stitches, so skip two chains, then working in the third for another lot of three double crochets. One, two, and three. And this is how you continue to the end of the row, skip two, working in the third with three double crochets. I will see you at the end of the row. Now, when you get to the end of the row, you will notice that you have one, two, three chains left. And in this one here, we are just going to place one double crochet because we need to make a little loop at the end as well as the beginning, of course, because that's how our system is going to work. So we have this little loop and we have a little loop there. So that is the end of your first color. So you cut it off and we can pull this through. So this is what you have. Now you have 10 clusters. Onto the second colour, I've just done blind dip. <laughs> so once again, start with your slip knot, insert your hook. Now I'm going to get started round about here so I can show you how to work around the corner, of course. So you yarn over as if you were already crocheting and you're going to be working in between the clusters. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And of course, you do your cluster of three double crochets. There we go. So we have started. And then you just move along to the next location and you do your cluster there as well. And again here. There we 
there we go okay so now we are ready to deal with this loop here and we need to make our way to the other side so we are going to do one cluster on this side here Then you do two chains, then still working in this loop here, we are going to make another cluster sort of on top of it. And then we do another lot of two chains and then we've almost made the turn here. We're going to be placing another cluster into that same loop. There we go. See, look, this is what it looks like. And then you are going to continue keeping those ends out of the way along your side. So this time you will be placing your clusters around the chain there. So three double crochets around the chain. So you just keep going, doing your clusters around the chains until you get to the other end where you have that loop to deal with. So here we have the loop once again, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, scoot them over a little bit, two chains and another lot of three double crochets in there. See, look. And then, of course, you work your way along the side by placing three double crochets in between the clusters of the previous round. And then when you get to the end of your round, you do your last cluster, you find your first cluster. Here, this standing stitch always closes up for me, so I tend to go under the next V and you pull up a loop and you do a slip stitch. There we go. And this is round two done. There we go got my next color make your slip knot insert your hook close the loop and starting anywhere really i'm going to yarn over and insert in between two clusters and i'm going to start doing my double crochets there we go so three double crochets in between the clusters. And basically, that's all you will be doing for most of the project. But then here we have these corners to deal with. And we are going to create the corners in this round. And then it'll be much easier in all the rest of the rounds because they will be proper corners. So now these chain spaces here they will each need a corner. So we're going to place three double crochets in the first chain space. Then we do two chains. Then three double crochets in that same chain space. And there is our first corner made. So from now on, each time you meet this chain to chain space you will be placing a cluster two chains and a cluster in there okay so now off we go to the next location for a corner we're putting three double crochets two chains 
and three double crochets in there. There we go. So look, we now have a corner here and a corner here. And then you work your way to the other side. So I have just made it to the other side and we have those chain spaces here again where we are going to be creating corners. So three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets in the first chain space. And then three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets in the next chain space. And once you've done that, of course, you are working your way along the side again. Just made it to the end of the row here. Going over to that first cluster, skipping the first stitch, going under the second V and closing the round. There we go. So this is the center of our rectangle so far. So cut off the arm. I just want to do the fourth color so I can show you now that actually you have a cluster to do on this side as well okay so let me show you so next color so each time you just choose a color make a slip knot insert your hook and you can insert it any way you fancy so yarn over do your double crochet and do your second and third for that first cluster there we go so here we see the chain two, so we do a corner there. That means a cluster, two chains and a cluster. There we go, okay. And now, of course, here, we now have a location as well for a cluster. So let's go in there and do your cluster. And of course, this way is how this row, this side will grow as well, of course, because in the next row, you will have two locations for a cluster there. And as you can tell, I am already working on the corner. There we go. Look at that. And this is how you keep going. And there we go. Look at that. So when I was counting my rows, I did not actually count this one here. All I did was count the corners. So I counted this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So when you make your nine rectangles, the first one you do 15 rounds. All the others you can do 14 rounds because we will then be using the 15th round to join. But of course the joining is for our next video. Now when you pick your yarn make sure you keep a biggish ball for your border. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!